Hey guys, in this episode of Project 2J, we're replacing our old soft top and we're getting our twill on. Stay tuned. Hi guys, my name's Daryl Sheather and that's correct, today we're fitting a new soft top on Project 2J. The old one's getting to the end of its life, it's starting to get a few holes in it, the windows have all clouded over and it's just time. <laughs> in its place, we're installing a best top track top nx in black twill material now this is best tops top end frameless soft top the black twill material is a little bit more expensive a lot more expensive than the standard material but it's the same material that euro sports cars use it's thicker than the normal soft top material so it should insulate better and it gives you a nice rich black soft top now the difference between normal and frameless soft tops is basically that the standard soft top on your Jeep has a frame that you can fold back to give a full convertible effect. The frameless versions don't and use the um, standard roll bar for their frame, which gives you a fast back effect when the top's all up. There's fours and against with both tops. Um, I've always found with soft tops is they're great early morning, great late night. Um, middle of the day you tend to want a target top on and this gives me the target top. So for our use, absolutely perfect whether you like the fast pack look of them or the more traditional look that's up to you but best top do have a version to suit whatever taste you have a complete removal of the, the existing top and a complete replacement using new parts so from my perspective it's great because we're uh, we're getting a brand new soft top and all assorted parts in one go so that sort of justifies the price to me when you're installing these things they suggest you do them on a day that's over 75 degrees Fahrenheit in downtown Sydney today it's 43 degrees Celsius. So we're probably rocking 110 degrees Fahrenheit or so. We should be fine. Everything should stretch out really good. I just have to cope with it. But anyway, let's get on. Now, first off, we have to remove the original soft top. Um, fairly easy process. We need a T30 Torx driver. That's about it. Now these are the new plastic door surrounds from Best Top and you will notice they have this fitting on. Um, I dare say that's got something to do with the, the fold back func function for the front of the roof. Now the two brackets the rear window bottom bar lock into have a left and a right on the back of them, can't go wrong. And because this car has a soft top already, we don't have to drill anything for these things. Now these two rods are the side bows that go to the header. One's drilled further back than the other. Now, the one that's drilled further back is the passenger side, so that would be the right hand side version. And this goes to the inside. We now have to install this aluminium top arch.
There's a slot on each side this sits in. We then have to take the header and affix the top to it. Now after lying the header in and pushing it into the corner pieces, we need to fold this over and screw this down through the thick rubber through the holes, holes provided which aren't drilled oh they are slightly after laying the roof over the top of the vehicle these pins can be put in that one just pull those out slide them down drop down now we also have a rear bow that has to be inserted just above the back window through that pocket Once pushed through, you have to put this clip over the end and then go to the other side and attach, push that back and attach the same, the same as such. So what I've done is, I've tensioned the back down and I've lifted up the Sunrider section until these straps, these straps here, that I have to thread down between the speaker pod and the roll bar. So what I've done is position, undone these, position the strap around the bar as such, and that and that should give me my centre of the roof line where the, the top has to sit. These have been done up reasonably tight, but not over tight. Now to install the rear window, this U section slides over this U section. So I've roughly centered that on the track. So now we have to put the side windows on, which start from here. And it says to only do this up a couple of inches. Do the back one up a couple of inches too. And to do that with both sides. Just to insert these into the The rail around the, the doors. Same with the other one. And now we close each top section. Put the, and then we put the corners into the channels. Now we slide the tailgate bar in, that's the profile. We slide the fitting in the window through here. Do the window up. This is tight, but it's not overly tight and I think it's the weather that's helping. This one's tight. And then that should slide into the fitting. Now with the tailgate bar we've got 
It's got this plastic fitting that slides underneath, underneath the lip. Okay, so I have had some issues putting after, after doing all the backup and then trying to put down the Sunrider part and clamp it to the windscreen. In the end, what I've had to do is undo the with, it, with leaving this all done up, I've undone the straps inside ever so slightly to give them some slack and then I've undone both both of these straps around the roll bar I've, I've loosened those off and the idea, my idea was is that it would give me enough just to be able to do up the Sunrider part to the windscreen frame and that's what worked um, so now that's up, I've just, I've just tightened all these back up again and the straps at the back. And she's on and it's finished and it looks great. And it fits really nice so far. Haven't taken it out yet so I don't know if there's any weird noises or anything. And um, I think I might just leave it, leave it on and not touch it for a week or so and just let it stretch into place but it was a fairly pain-free installation So we're now about a week after we've installed the best top. In that time, we've had all the seasons. We've had rain, we've had wind, we've had high heat, and it's settled in really well, and I'm really happy with it. The tightness that was originally there on fitment is now passed. Doing up the fastenings now isn't an issue at all. I've been using the sunroof section a lot. I love it. Um, and as it's my daily in the city, it's basically, just flipping it over, doing up the two, the two clips in the windscreen, and if I'm leaving the car anywhere, that's good to go. If I'm going to drive it around, I'll do the side sections up. As you can see, this thing's stretched. opening the sunroof section isn't an issue at all and we're good to go what I'm really loving is the black colour inside the car the original top was a more grey whereas this is a real dense black and it just gives a really nice feel to the inside of the car um, the back I'll just stop that beeping incessant alarms the back section is the same the uh, The zippers are easy to go up and undo. The good thing I've found too about this over the standard version is the standard version had the one zip that went all the way around. Whereas this you've got the two. So you don't run into that issue where you're trying to get a zip around corners. Um, so it's brilliant. Noise, it's, I'd say it's, it's quieter than having the original soft top on. It's not as quiet as having a hard top, but it's not that far away from it. I get, with the windows up and the top all bolted up, I do get the occasional piece of flapping. With a window down, you get a little bit over the driver's head. The back section seems as taut and tight as anything, but it's definitely quieter inside using it. So that's it for this week, guys. Like and subscribe to the channel, because that really helps us out. And I'll see you next week on Project TJ.